So then the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D.? John D., one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. It's actually really awesome. Shut up, Drake. John 007. Sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. Dean and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia. Great film. He was an archeologist. <laughs> and even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the crusades. And he traveled all over documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues, Lawrence only had half. We have both, and Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubel-Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian it's script. script. <laughs> right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city <laughs> a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. <laughs> Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. <laughs> <sighs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, one of the reasons this continues to be my favorite of the series is, I've said it before, but the number of locations that you go to. Don't. This game has more than any of the other four. Looks like four. we're going the rest of the way on foot. Four and a half if you count the last one that we'll be playing. What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> it's neat because it actually exists. Head in the right direction. There is an actual jungle in the middle of France. It should be this way. Not too far. Come on. But yeah, this game has uh, far more locations than even even the fourth Not one. Too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? You are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. 
Oh, the banter is so good. It's so good. I mean, he did get us out in the second game, too. He used all the rest of our money to get us out, but still. Back to the jungle. Yeah, these games do love their jungle settings. I wonder why. I don't know. You know, it's weird. First game had it, second game had it, third one had it. Luckily, there's no jungles in the fourth game. <laughs> anyway, let's admire this fine-ass foliage. Oh yeah, and that reminds me. There's a rail crew guy named Nate. Sully's gonna die. Why would you say that? Our boy can't die. He's not the token old character or anything. So apparently we stole all the crap. And I like the fact that even the pages are a different color to indicate what we stole <laughs> from Marlowe's little uh, T.E. Lawrence book and shoved it into our journal. Because here's the pages of our journal. And then you get to T.E. Lawrence's completely different color. Even the uh, writing is a different, um, the handwriting is different too. Because it's, it's supposed to be Lawrence of Arabia's handwriting. LV smells plot. Oh no. Anyway, we got a circling tour of France, cycling tour of France. We got a uh, walking tour of Palestine and Syria. And then we have some newspaper clippings. Lawrence Arabia dies of injury. The postmark of when he sent his letter, a picture of him. Some neat shit. Um, here we have some really cool things that are hard to read. Unfortunately, you can't zoom in or anything, so you're kind of boned with trying to read the details sometimes. But I do like Nate's handwriting. It's uh, a little neater when he's doing his cursive. It's not hard. It's not easy to read, but it's a neat script that they use for it. Um, anyways, what else we got in here? I have some doodles of Syria, which is where our friends are. We're in France. Neat shit. We'll look more at that when we actually uh, see the Syria part. All right, so uh, all that's remaining of the original castle is the square in the garden built in the 11th century, which I think he's, the game tells you that anyway. Um, there was one thing that I wanted to show. Uh, I guess, does it show up in here? I think it does at some point. Anyway, when we were looking at the map in that previous cutscene, there were two symbols on it, the 007 one from John D, and in the other corner there was the inverted um, hexagram which is basically the Star of David, but inverted, which always tickles me because that is the tattoo that I have on my wrist. So when I first when I saw it for the first time, I was like, ah! Oh, you. Wait, you can smell us. Well, it sounds like Shu and I need to take a bath then. Anyways, back to the jungle. That's what we got in the notebook so far. Let's admire the sunlight filtering and ooh. There's normally a treasure in here. A treasury. A treasure in here. Actually, you know what? Th this specific jungle reminds me a lot of certain areas in Metal Gear Solid 3. Like, they look ex the same color scheme, the same uh, type of foliage. You guys will probably think the same once we get to that game. Climb the waterfall, apparently. Is that a spike pit? There isn't. Go on through here. <gasps> flower. Blue flowers. Just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. So yeah, this is literally a castle. In the middle of a jungle, being on the in the middle of France. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. What are you talking about? We can make that jump. <gasps> You're a treasure. Oh wait, there's a path up here. That 
combat roll added something to the experience. I don't know what. Hey, is that a pan flute? Is that a pan flute? I thought the pan flutes were the ones that you played like this. With like um, a bunch of tubes in a row. Isn't that a pan flute? That's just a flute flute. Yeah, it's a regular flute. See, look, I already drew it. I somehow drew it in the future. France is known for its lush tropical biome. It's not a big, it's not a big uh, jungle in France. It's a very small one. But there is one there. Which, again, I guess as an American, it just proves how little we know about uh, <laughs> other countries and their various biomes. Yeah, I, was just saying, I don't think it's a pan flute. Watch Look, Nate's experience is in history and archaeology. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? Doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. Looks more like renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. The fine castle. You actually have a pan flute? That's awesome. Hey, bones. What the fuck part of the body is that? Hmm. I think some of those monsters from the uh, second Uncharted game ended up here. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, this looks sketchy. Don't look down. Oh, the game forces you to look down. Come on, Sully, it's fine. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. Good job, Sully. The lighting here is so bright. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. I like how Sully's not even insulted. He's just fascinated by cool old car. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. Are nice clouds. Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia. That's where we're going to find him. The ambiance of the setting is one of my favorites in the game, too. I can't look at my book right now. Good? Not getting in this way. I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight. Smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. Smoke a cigar again. Oh, Sully. This tree has grown over the door, making it a natural barricade. Very 2D. It's very 2D. It looks like a 2D. I know. <laughs> it is. It is. It's, 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 it's not even connected. No, I know. It's it's very fun to me. So they definitely took some shortcuts with the uh, with the graphics, <laughs> like those um, bags of potatoes that we saw. It's like they they blew all of their RAM and budget on the big stuff, but then some of the smaller stuff they had to cheap out on. Which you know, originally this was a, uh, a just a PS3 game, not the remaster of PS4. So I guess they were dealing with a smaller scale but it does it does make me laugh when you find those little random things like that castles over with taking my plants is a really cool motif and if you like this then you're gonna love when we get inside of it too because 
like I said, this is one of my favorite areas of the entire game. Um, there's so many neat little details. Again, you'll find a lot of those silly, like these bad 2D things and some repeating graphics, but overall the, uh, the setting that they create here is just awesome. I thought I was going to die there. Also, look at this. Rain gutters. They've been around for a long time. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. A valid concern. Put your gun away. Why do I keep pulling it out? Because I'm an idiot, I know. Alright, let's get inside here. Alright, nice going, kid. Be right back. I'll be waiting. Now we can explore a little bit. <laughs> look at this old ass sewing machine. Can I like go into look mode without pulling out my gun? Not really, huh? I can, but I don't get to zoom in as much. This is clearly where the uh, the dress servants lived. We got a little spinning wheel over here. Got a mannequin. A couple of mannequin or not mannequins? I guess these are like clothes holders. Hey, do they count as mannequins? Do they need a whole body to be a mannequin? I don't know the rules. Mannequin rules. Another wheel over here. Yeah, no matter how many times I play this part too. I know it's a repeat of the same <laughs> sewing machine, but still. It's just such a neat area. Is that a loom? It's like a loom. Oh no, it's the old sewing machine. Ye old sewing machine. I believe that was the brand name. I wish we had one window like that. I don't. Why not? Someone would throw a brick through it. No, not in this town. We don't have... This town, this is a village. Sorry. Oh, it's even less of a chance that someone's going to throw a brick through it. The only children that live here are fat, happy Swiss children. <laughs> it's true. You remember that... Wow. <laughs> remember that kid we saw going down the street on a scooter? <laughs> he didn't look very happy, though. He, he didn't look happy. Not when he was going uphill, at least. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Hey, you can't say cock in a video game. Anyway, look at this fucking room, y'all. I love this room. So you remember that they said it didn't look like it was uh, from the Crusades. It said They said it looked Renaissance. So this is the part of the castle that is the Renaissance castle. Um, this entire room is just all Renaissance gilding. Um, La Renaissance gilding. La Renaissance. I said the Renaissance gilding. Look at that creepy painting. No, I had to correct you with the proper French oh. terminology. Is it La or Le? It's L.A. L.A. Noir. Oh! Anyway, that's David Bowie. That's a different era. Yeah, that is a different era. Um, yeah, no, I actually took, I don't know if it was one or two architecture classes, and the only thing that I remembered from it was, like, the gay stuff. The gay stuff. I remembered Renaissance and um, Gothic. <laughs> Anything else I can't really pinpoint. Um. <laughs> Dress servants. Hey, look, that describes the children in our town, whether you like it or not. Anyway, so yeah, um, this entire room is is all decked out in really cool Renaissance-style stuff. Um, the ceiling, specifically, that those repeating tiles that they did. The fucking high-ass room. You, you could see at one point there was obviously more to the room, but this still would have been one big room. This is, this is a, basically a library, as you can see. All the books. But um, yeah, this was one giant room originally. It just had a... Uh, a balcony around the whole thing and all those little windows actually those aren't windows those are those are bookshelves but they have uh, fancy glass covers oh yeah this is a cool ass castle i know the, the other thing i like is that sully doesn't sit there yelling at you to come let him in either so you can take your time wandering around this old ass fireplace is really cool too i dig it these chairs i also dig it this what is this, a, a, a lounge? Is this, The chase has an armrest on one side, right? I don't know what that would be considered. La chase. La wow. chase, sorry. Let me use the French. We have an uncomfortable looking chair. Very typical of the Renaissance. Alright. And this is why uh, Sully couldn't get in. No, this is a different door. Never mind. Anyway, let's let our friend in. 
and try not to shoot his cock. What happens if you run out of ammo, I wonder? Instant game over. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's the where we'll chateau. find the old keep. The old keep, because yeah, the original castle is in the middle. Oh, are they gonna talk about it? La old keep. La old keep is the proper French for it. Um, so the original Crusader castle is only the very middle. All the stuff that was added on. Get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? I can try. Um, so all the stuff that we're seeing now was added on later, and that's why the uh, style is completely different. No lumbar support in La Renaissance, exactly. Come on, Sully. Help me out here, bud. This fucking armoire is going to start singing and dancing at us if this was a Disney movie. Do it. Which, in my case, would be a horror movie. I always thought... Beauty and the Beast was 100% like a horror movie. Kind of system. Be our guest, be our that shit was scary, man. Fucking terrifying. I I hated that movie as a child. Absolutely hated it. Hated I'm sure it did. <laughs> and then inexplicably in a few years I decided that All Dogs Go to Heaven was one of the best movies of all time, which is far more satanic than, uh, than Beauty and the Beast, considering it has actual Satan. Do your little reach. I know I can... Can I go up another level, or... Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Um, you might be wondering, back in the day, how they lit these chandeliers, because they obviously didn't have electricity. They had these. These broken cranks. I have an idea. So, the chandeliers were on chains. Which they still are to this day, but you know, now they're electric, so they don't need it. Um, oh, that's cool. yeah. Yeah. And that's how you raised and lowered them. They'd have uh, big old chains in some part of the room with cranks on them. And you would lower the chandeliers to clean and light them and then raise them back up. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. I know. <sighs> I like these vines that are growing in through the ceiling too. It's really cool. But yeah, here you can get a closer look at the, um, it's like fancy ornate glass covers over the bookshelves. You think you had like an entire team of servants just to light all your shit? Like how many candles would a castle like this have? I wonder if that shit became sentient. Way too much for a Here human to take care of. Anyway, leverage because physics. All right, got it. There, I'm in. Get a touch of realism in this game, I guess. Be right down. Hi, buddy. Ah, there's the front door that he couldn't get in through. There's another door that would hurt to go through. Oh yeah, a lot of the house has unfortunately fallen apart. Is that a popcorn machine? <laughs> I love that question. I mean, what else would you think it is? My first instinct says that's a popcorn machine with a clock in it, I guess. I don't think I've ever noticed that clock before. Let's see if I've drawn it yet or not. Yeah, here we go. Sully's first car, overgrown tower, and WTF are these things. <laughs> goddamn, he sketched that car real fast. And that tower has some goddamn detail lines. The boy is ADHD as fuck. The statue is covering its boob. Is that a dong hanging down? Use your imagination, it is. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. So here we have a good old uh, kitchen. I did not know that ovens existed as long ago as they did, but these are obviously newer ones. So when I first saw this, I was like, this is unrealistic. But then I remembered, oh wait, we saw that car out front. So this place was being used up to a certain time in the recently, um, 
near past, which is why these are actual ovens. But all the same, um, the ovens that we know and love today did have a uh, version that existed even back in the 1700s. They just didn't have brand names on them like these do. But yeah, I got thrown off at first until I remembered, oh right, um, parts of this castle were still apparently being used in the uh, late uh, 19th century. Boob. Or beeb, if you're talking plural. Up we go. There we go. Look at that wallpaper. That's the kitchen we were just in. Some nice looking pots and pans. A duvet. Or well, I guess this is just a couch. And an armchair. Oh, look at these wildflowers. Grew right into the fucking house. Oh, Jesus, Sully, you teleported. Or at least I just didn't see you move. Is this a radiator? Yeah, it's definitely a radiator. P.S. If you guys are looking for treasure, there's normally one here under the stairs. Pro tips by Pony. By now, with my help, you probably have at least half the treasure in the game. Probably have at least one treasure. <laughs> I've pointed out two, three, two-ish or three-ish. Oh, dang. It's a fancy looking fucker. Is that, that's like a, that is a dog. It's not a cat. I thought it was a cat. Well, at first I thought it was another one of those Sphinx things, but that's more Sphinx. like a, Sphinx. That's more like a dog angel. A dinx. Hey, a dinx, yeah. A dog a what dog sphinx is known as a dinx. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That look matches symbol, one of Lawrence's guys, look at the symbol. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. <gasps> oh, look at their little dog tails. You dumbass! <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was extremely well timed. Uh we got different wallpaper in here, by the way. Go up these stairs. Admire this room, everyone. It's gorgeous. Hmm. Even the trim is nice. Alright. Yeah, Sully's kind of like the hint of where to go once you're stopped looking around like a like a special person, which is Nate in a nutshell. I'm coming, old man. I'm coming. Through the window. Who threw their couches outside? Assholes, that's who. <gasps> Got a piano, y'all. Single key missing. Tomb Raider graphics again. I wish I could play it. I don't think this game has the hidden triangle prompts. Also, we have a painting of... That looks almost like... Um, who's the guy from Fight Club? Not Brad Pitt. Ed Norton. A little bit like Ed Norton. Old Ed Norton. Older Ed Norton but with really long hair. And that looks like... Who the fuck... Oh my god, there's a dog. This man got a portrait with his dog. Here's unfortunately where we start seeing the uh, repeated art. Like there's David Bowie again. But, you know, I still appreciate the... Uh, the attempt to really create a very specific feeling for this old castle mansion. It's got a fireplace overgrown with ivy. That's really cool. <coughs> Not Brad Pitt, you know. Yeah. 
the other one. Good old Ed Norton. Oh, thanks. This guy looks like. I can't put a finger on who looks like. I think it's a YouTuber that I'm thinking of. Fucking YouTubers. There he is again. He's got little vase holders in the wall. That's how you know you're rich when you have a vase holder hey, above eye that level. Symbol that was on the tower. Yeah, it is, boy. That's got to mean something, right? It Maybe does. Sure passage? does. Give me a, a sec to explore the room. Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Yeah, these people didn't know how to make secret entrances and fireplaces back then. Oh, another vase. You know, if we just started, like, pocketing half the things that we came across on our adventures, we really wouldn't even need to find the treasure. Is that the same one with the dog? Yeah. <laughs> Something weird about these suits of armor. Oh, there's a creepy looking here, French dude. Out. I know there's something weird about it, Sully. Let me explore the room. Anyway, you can move the suits of armor. So, let's solve Bases this puzzle. Rotate. Interesting. Anything in Lawrence's notebook about this? Sure is. Check. You don't need to give me the sound? Here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Oh, it's a... just like the ones in this room. Oh, look, he even I noticed the cool statue, and he noticed the cool statue. And also, does that say Mrs. Godfrey? Yeah. All right, so let's go find. There we go. All right, so this is your uh, clue for how to solve the puzzle. So, shield guy faces axe guy. Let's start with that. Shield guy faces axe Maybe guy. We got to turn each knight so it's facing the right way. Uh, yeah, what's the right way? I know what the right way is. Let me solve it. Jeez. All right, there's Axe Guy. So Shield Guy needs to face Axe Guy. The shiny ass shield. Someone made it their duty to polish that before they abandon this joint. All right, Axe Guy needs to face apparently Shield Guy. Okay. Ah, uh, boom. All right, then we got. Sword guy who faces axe guy. Oh, uh, you got me good. You got me good. Sully. Kind of Sully. Let me do my thing, bro. And then mace guy field faces shield guy. Too easy. Bam. And what do you know? Well, well. A secret passage. All right, gotta hand it to you, Sully. Sully, be stuck. Was correct. Okay, I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait, one, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're only playing for about another ten minutes or so. Eight. Hey, you all right? We'll be done at nine. Yeah, yeah I'll live. Look, guys, we found a creepy cave. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. I wouldn't joke with Sully about dying. Right. Hope there is another side. Spoopy. Oh, God. These kind of look like uh, egg pods. Suddenly, we're in an Aliens game. Hiko's gonna raid your tomb. Divinity Original Sin 2? Probably. I actually probably have it on my uh, GOG list. I just haven't gotten around to buying it because I really don't need yet another game to play right now. But yeah, it, that's one of those D&D &D direct... direct relation to D&D &D games, if I recall correctly. So yeah, I probably would like it. It'll be on my one day to play game list. I mean, I always do say he goes the Tomb Raider and Lone is Drake. So, you oh, are correct. Tomb Raider. Wow! He goes so straight, he just loves the Vagines. 
puts them on. He puts all the vagines on. On his butt. On his face. On his nut. One. His one nut. <laughs> you can have gay intercourse. Oh, I didn't know there was multiplayer in it. Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be the Divinity 2 D&D game. Interesting. Yeah, Baldur's Gate is another one in that series that's like a direct um, descendant from the original D&D concept. So Baldur's Gate's another series I have meant to get into. I just never did. Um, and yeah, I know Divinity Original Sin 2 is, like I said, it's on my list for GOG. The only thing is if you don't have it for GOG and I get it, we I don't think we'd be able to cross-play between Steam and GOG unless you also have it on GOG. But I'll let you know if I ever do. But we're sure. Come on, squish through. There's nothing scary about this. Oh, I have to mash triangle. Oh, hey, by the way. Spoopy alert. Forgot to mention that. Sorry if you don't like spiders. Alright. Ember's not here. The poor thing is missing out. Uh, oh, Alright, this game also introduces diving. What are caves but earth vagoos? You are correct about that. All GA3 is coming out, but it's going to be a what's it called when a company works with someone to add in their licensed content. Um, what is that called? It's like what uh, Square Enix does with Final Fantasy stuff. Square Enix. Uh, yeah, collaboration, something like that. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I didn't know there was going to be a third one. Because the second game came out a long ass time ago. It's been like at least, what, 10, 15 years? Nothing. I guess it's true considering... What? It's about time. Crash Bandicoot 4. Well, oh, Crash Bandicoot 4, that's right. I was like, isn't there another uh, Naughty Dog game that's been uh, a decade or so? Um, am I going to get lost here? I sure did get turned around. Let's see, that's where I came from. So I probably need to go that way. There we go. Lauren Studios is making the game in Wizards of Coast. Yeah, I know Wizards of Coast is D&D. They're, they're also Magic the Gathering, um, which is why I know so much about them, because I have a lot of Magic cards. But they're... Oh, they're making D&D 5th Edition Divinity. Ah, gotcha. Well, that will be interesting. No, Nate, I need you to go down, Bubba. I need you to go down, Picobert. How do I dive? The controls are not the same as Uncharted 4, shockingly. Ah, oh, there we go. I figured it out. No, I didn't. Why can't I go down? Right, come on, buddy. Go down. Um, down? Th does the down button go down? Come on, go fucking down. Why is this so difficult? Maybe I am not supposed to go that way. Maybe I'm an idiot. <laughs> Maybe I'm an idiot, you guys. Ah. I'm just an idiot. That's cool. You can make your own characters and have them talk to each other and fuck. I can have Hiko and Lone do the bedtime. Perfect. That's all I needed in life. You sold me. Hey, light. It's a good sign. I'll make sure I get a notification next time it's on sale. Alright, so it's time to find our way out of this shitty cave. There we go. And then I think once we get out of here, we'll be able to call it a night and I can continue next week from here. Because we're definitely not finishing the castle tonight. Way out. Alright, I should be able to climb up through there. Oh shit. Go, go, go. Alright. This is the perfect place to stop. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Because our friends found us already, somehow, in the middle of France. I gotta warn Sully. 